Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be getting some of your opinions on a new series I'm planning on launching on building power hammers, step-by-steps on how-tos, and want to see what you guys think. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. Okay everyone, here's the deal. I want to make a blacksmithing plan series where I release one power hammer and do it in a 10-step series where I show you how to build a power hammer start to finish. I'm also going to be taking and having an accompanying document over at blacksmithpdfs.com. It'll be a $3.99 download, or that's $3.99 US download that will be a complete cut list uh, and parts list with links on where you can find my recommended materials to build the hammer. Um, you're more than welcome to find your own materials and reinvent my wheel, uh, but then you're kind of on your own left field and you'll have to, I guess, follow along the best you can. This series I want to do is a pure benefit to the blacksmithing community and to help most of you guys out there. And maybe some of the stuff you already have on hand, um, some of these plans that I want to come out with are fairly simple. I believe that most smiths, if you're a mechanically inclined person, you will be able to follow along and watch the videos and, and do that, and that will be a benefit to you. So, uh, yeah, so the option for the $3.99 download, it's not, it's not necessary for some, but it will, be, it will cut a lot of the learning curve off as I will probably miss some things during the series because I do stuff live on camera. I try to think out my thoughts as best as possible while I build the power hammers themselves. But usually my method, when I get in a gear about stuff, you know, my wheels get turning and I start taking one thing and applying it to another and so on and so forth. And a lot of times, I, you know, I forget to mention stuff. Um, and mainly because I usually don't have anybody in my shop that I'm instructing to make these power hammers. So, yeah, I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think a series like this would be worth it to you? Do you think it wouldn't be worth it to you? You can chuck your comments in the comment section down below. And, you know, if you're watching in the future, there will be a link to that PDF document. And there will also be links to the Power Hammer series themselves. I would like to take and do this and get this to where it is a very supportive thing for me and my family. But also, my real big heart is to really help out you, my audience, with creating power hammers, creating tooling for yourselves, and, you know, not having to just swing everything by hand all the time and doing things the hard way. Uh, generally speaking, usually if you're doing something and you're having a rough way to go about it, there's probably an easier way of doing it. Whether somebody has thought of it or no one's thought of it yet, there's generally an easy way of doing something, and I thoroughly believe that. Um, so many times have I been struggling on one thing, and just one simple tool makes the world a difference. Uh, I thought it was just me, and like I was a horrible person, and couldn't smith worth a lick, and it just turned out I needed to change my way of thinking a little bit, and that would help out. So I really believe that, you know, us as smiths, we should be helping each other out. Um, to achieve our goals and dreams and I hope you guys are experiencing that through this channel and You know, I greatly appreciate all my audience my subscribership and I and I want your feedback on this um, Some people won't find this handy. Some people don't like me. That's fine. I don't like them either most likely uh, You know, I like most of you guys out there. I, I love all my commenters uh, that are my regular guys that constantly comment on my videos Love you guys out there, and uh, I really look forward to hearing your opinions of this, and I really hope this will be a handy uh, help to you. And, uh, yeah, without further ado and without me rambling on for the next 20 minutes because I need to get back to work, let me know in the comments what you think of this ideal. I'm probably going to go ahead with it um, with one power hammer and see how that goes. Uh, if I feel that it is a sustainable thing for me to continue to do as these power hammers, they do cost me money uh, in designing and building time and things of that nature. They cost me more in time um, 
and well, you know a little bit of money but they cost me a lot more on time and effort to put them out there i'm going to see if i i can make this sustainable if i can make it a sustainable thing and you guys are really picking up on the you know the the downloads and the you know uh things like that that i can make this a sustainable thing for everybody in the future and do these walkthroughs these how to's and step by steps um once again before i go the 399 download that is so this way i don't have to answer five million questions in the comment section about every last step and answer that five thousand times it does take a lot of time to answer everyone back and i want to take and be answering back pertinent questions not something i've already covered for someone else so that's what the document's for it helps support us it helps support what we're doing it you know it makes the most sense of our time and uh, yeah, I hope this will be a good thing in the future. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a big thumbs down. Either way, I'm still Roy, still a happy person. And uh, I'm glad that you all took a moment with me today and to share your opinions. Thanks for watching.